Are you paying way too much for your space launches? Find out one secret loophole that could save you millions on Musquash! Ooh, I'm touching yours now! Scientists hate him! The Air Force released their cost estimates for space launches for the next few years, and it's looking like they could cost $422 million per launch by 2021. Per launch? In this economy? <laughs> Okay, well this is of course if the Air Force keeps all of their launches with the United Launch Alliance, which is a joint venture by Boeing and Lockheed that until recently held a monopoly on Air Force space launches. But if you're looking to find a, the best, ooh, the best deal on savings when it comes to your satellite launches, look no further than Papa Muscom. Two of the recent launches SpaceX did for the Air Force cost a mere 86 and $96.5 million respectively, which is less. Now, Elon Musk took to Twitter saying, <clears throat> $300 million diff between SpaceX and Boeing slash Lockheed exceeds AVG value of satellite. So flying with SpaceX means satellite is basically free. Basically free. Smash that RT button, fam. We can see the infomercial right now. Fly with SpaceX and we'll throw in a satellite for free and just pay the shipping and handling, which is substantial. But wait, there's fun more thing. We'll also throw in this extra large black t-shirt says SpaceX. And it's only 17,000 easy payments of 1995. And if you call right now, we'll throw in the six CD set of the sounds of Elon. That's me, Musk music, baby. What is it? What is what, Give me one. Give me the the uh, chorus line from one Elon Musk song. My name's Elon, and I'm here to say there's venomous bats. Get out of my way. Driving Teslas, y'all. Honk honk, real smooth. Elon's going in your hyperloop tube. Ha 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 ha. Elon. Oh wow. I thought you. I thought wow. Did you black out or you alright? Where are we? And in other budget-related news, NASA is shutting down its asteroid redirect mission, also called. Arm. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh. Now, the point of the Arm mission was to grab a piece of an asteroid and park it in <laughs> lunar orbit to use it for science stuff. Nice, bro. Now, NASA is no longer going to undertake this mission due to a lack of funding, what scientists call having no a money. The technology developed for ARM will be redeployed to other NASA projects. In fact, the solar electric drive designed for the asteroid Ooh. redirect mission will now be used in NASA's planned Deep Space Gateway project, which Ooh. is a cool as hell name. But a word of warning, you know what happens when we don't have a plan to redirect asteroids, right? No! We get Armageddon to Dan, no. and nobody wants to watch that movie again. I don't want to close my eyes, but I do want to miss seeing that movie one more time. I'd rather rewatch The Rock if I'm gonna have to rewatch any Michael Bay movie, or maybe, no, mm, yeah, definitely The Rock. I just said I want to find some rockets. And now for a boring company update, it turns out we might get that network of tunnels right here in sunny, miserable Los Angeles. Quoteth the Elon promising conversations with at Mayor of LA regarding tunnel networks that would carry cars, bikes, and pedestrians, permits harder than technology. Now these tunnels might eventually be used in conjunction with Hyperloop technology, and Los Angeles isn't the only place that wants in on that sweet, buttery, caramel drizzled Hyperloop action. Hyperloop Transportation Technologies is developing a system for all of South Korea that could make a trip from Seoul to Busan in only 20 minutes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Which, if you don't know either of those names or how far they are away, it's, it's longer than 20 minutes. It's impressive. <laughs> this system would kind of. It would ruin the movie Train to Busan. It would. It would just. It would be a short film instead of the best film. And finally, we have another record set by Tesla. A Model S 100D owner completed the longest trip driven on a single charge, oh, coming in at a cool 901.2 kilometers, or about 560 miles for us dumbass Americans. This practice is called hypermiling, where motorists attempt to drive as efficiently as possible, usually at lower speeds and adjusting cruise control and looking out for hills and dips and, and, and so being this... all around really annoying to drive next to, near, in front of, or behind. So this is just like Douchey tantric driving. <laughs> now we all know that Papa Elon lives in the fast lane, but he recently tweeted about the Model S's record, declaring, <clears throat> over 1,000 kilometers should be possible in 100D, if it's the right tires. Dad? Dad? D oh. 
<laughs> so that I know you're getting really good at that. Well, he, we, he's our father. The DNA is there. Yeah. Hypermilers of the world, you heard them. Let's, Let's kick, kick the, the tires and light the fires, Big Daddy. <laughs> That's a line from Independence Day. Just the movie, not yeah. the day. What? Which part? Okay, now before we go, it's time for your must see moment of the week. Ah, Dan! Oh, sorry. Ah! Folks, it happened. It really did. Finally, the vindication. Oh, oh yeah, we've it did. all been hoping for. I now realize what we're talking about. He 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 admitted it to us. He just he he did it. Here, show it. Show it. Show it. Show it. Hell yeah, Daddy! And even though he it didn't happened. tag us, that's official. I mean, it's official. He, we it's knew it was directed solely at us and not his real children. He sent the. Uh, I I literally had dozens of people send me. Oh this yeah. Trick. I'm kind of embarrassed because I know that with this many at tags, he has to have seen this by now. By now, for sure. Yeah. Sorry. You just think he would do more than see us and maybe see us as his adult sons, but hey. Who knows, maybe he just needs to bake that five minute increment into his daily schedule, Dad? My dad never taught me uh, how to shave. That'd be great to learn. And that's all, th oh, oh, oh man. That's a little bit further than I wanted to go. And that's all the time we have for this episode of Musk Watch. Perfectly coordinating our buys perfectly is my greatest joy Bye. in the- Daniel! Casey! Thank you so much for watching this week's Musk Watch. Now remember to like and keep the discussion going in the comments below, or don't. <laughs> Make sure to tweet us your best musky stories at SciFile, at Dan Casey, and at Nerdist with the hashtag MuskWatch! Power fluid. Aqualung. Hey, Aqualung! That's pretty good. Yeah, those are the songs. Yeah. <laughs>